At this point, I've been editing for so long that flow is literally an emotion that I feel and I no longer have to worry about it. For a lot of you guys, I know it's something that you guys struggle with and it's probably the most important thing in video editing. So before we even go and play anything with music, here are our four clips. You can see pretty clean clips, just kind of randomly selected them from the music video. They are on sync with the music. So when we do go ahead and play this. My name is Noah, so bitches be coming in dude. Yeah. <laughs> and just because the clips are synced to the music doesn't mean that the clips have flow with the music. So now I'm gonna show you an example of the same four clips, still sync to the music the same way, just cut differently and have certain effects on them to add a lot more flow to the edit. My name is Noah, so bitches be coming in dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's something you can vibe to and actually enjoy versus the first version. My name is Noah, so bitches be coming in dude. Yeah. <laughs> It's nothing special. So let's break down the three main things that I think are most important with flow. Before we even go into the three, I wanna say that shot selection is very important. It's almost like beat selection in music. If you don't have a good beat, you can't really make a good song. Like you can toss some amazing vocals on there, but like at the end of the day, the beat's more than half of the song pretty much. And same thing goes with footage. If you don't have good footage, if you don't know how to select good footage, then your flow is still gonna be a little off. But number one is just cutting to the beat of the song or cutting around the artist's flow. And you can see here when we play. So bitches be coming in dude, yeah. This is with just the cuts, no effects or anything. It already has a lot more energy than this one. It has that flow. It feels like it's supposed to be in the video. And that's just because I cut where NXG says, bitches be coming deuce. I don't even know what he says actually. Bitches be coming to deuce. But I kind of like on each word he enunciates, bitches be coming, be coming, deuce. And it's also on the beat head, right? <laughs> and then I would say the second most important thing to flow is just motion. Having some kind of motion in your clip, zooming in, zooming out. It is good to still have like stationary tripod shots that don't have zooms and stuff. Add energy, especially around like a bass drop area like this. Zooming in and zooming out is really important. So we'll mute the audio real quick. And you can see on each one of these clips, I'll go and turn on these transforms. Basically, I'm just zooming in and zooming out of specific areas. For example, this clip right here, I just have it zoomed in and it slowly zooms out. Just add a little bit of motion. Here's the opposite. It's zoomed out and it's zooming in. And then it's zoomed in on this clip and it's zooming out. And then the last one, it's zoomed in and zooms out real quick here, right at the drop. There's like kind of like a little snare hit right here and that's when it stops. So just adding motion to your edits like that with like zooms is something that's super simple, but it does add a little bit more energy and we'll show you with it and without it. So that's with it, and then here's without it. And just like that, those slight zooms really add a lot to the video. And then lastly, the third most important thing for flow is probably just transitions. So to do that, I'm just gonna highlight all my clips, right click and replace with After Effects composition. That way I can use Shake Sauce. I'll show you guys a little bit of it. I don't wanna show you too much. Very soon, probably right around 100K, this is gonna be coming out. This is my new After Effects extension. It's really good for transitions, adding shake to your video. It's pretty much the sauce when it comes to adding motion and energy to your edits. So I'm gonna let you guys see the logo and maybe yeah, probably nothing down here. It might be a bit blurred, but I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it verbally. So for the first transition here between these two clips, I'm gonna add a vertical hit, just double click in the vertical hit preset inside of Shake Sauce. The second one, let's do like a like a quick hit, just something really quick, we're double clicking on that, that's all we're doing. And then the third one, let's do something like hard hit with flash, that way it has a flash transition as well. And then when we play that, you can see we have a little bit more shake energy here. And the way I designed Shake Sauce is literally just to be the easiest to use, most fun to use, and just like allows you to get really creative. So let's say, for example, under the hard hit one, we don't like how it's not aggressive enough. We want it to be a little bit more intense. So let's just turn up the shake on the last one a little bit, save it, and then let's go into Premiere Pro and see what we got. And then just like this, name is Noah, so bitches be coming in dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got flow to our edit, and that is so much different than these first four clips, the same Noah, four so clips. <laughs> And that's it for flow. I think it's one of the most important things to learn as a video editor. It's something that takes time, but also like is something that comes natural over time. But I think just editing to the beat, having some rhythm as a person, adding some camera movement and then shakes and transitions are really important for it. And it just shows, I mean, we use the same four clips. We probably did that in maybe 10 minutes to transform the clips from having no energy and flow to that it to having a lot of energy and complete flow with that it. Like I said, Shake Sauce isn't out yet, but it is coming out really soon. I'm super excited for it. It's something that I've been working on for so long. 
In the meantime, if you want to snag any editing packs and presets, I'll have them all linked down below. I have a huge catalog of the best editing packs and presets on the market. So definitely go check them out. The texture pack's one of my favorites, Liquid Explosion, Motion Warp. There's a lot of stuff. Just go check it out. There's something that you're going to like on the website. I guarantee it. If you haven't already liked the video, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Just subscribe. I've been uploading every day for 24 days now. So there's got to be some content that you're going to like. Make sure you're subscribed. Have the notification bell ring. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.